Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my Sephora haul. I'm so excited to do this haul. I have one order I'm still waiting on, unfortunately, but I figured you guys wanna see the bulk of the haul, which is here. I'm just waiting on that one order that's coming from BC, so unfortunately, here, you come to say hi. She's parked behind me. I don't even remember where I was, but you're here for the haul. I am here to share with you the haul, and I wanna know what your haul is. <laughs> So let me know what you got during the Sephora sale and let's jump right into everything that I picked up. Starting with the items that I got from Sephora Collection because that's 30% off for everyone. I got the two new bronze and contour products which I'm very excited for. So we have the Sephora bronzer. It is a matte bronzer and I got the shade 02 Beach Bum Tan. Looks like this, very warm. I am a little concerned this might be a little too orangey for me, but we're gonna use it in a trying to make up and see. I'm a huge fan of Sephora Collection products, as you guys know, so I have high hopes for this because everything they've been releasing lately, I have absolutely loved. And then we also have a contour stick that just came in the mail. This is O2 Light to Medium. This was another package I was waiting on because I got this a little later. Might have melted in transit. This is what the color looks like. And it is a contour and online it looked very very ashy in person it looks more neutral and actually looks really nice so i was worried about this everything is looking a little bit more warm in person than it did online so i'm going to swatch the powder for you first Ooh, it is soft it's silky smooth that feels wonderful so there is the bronzer it is quite warm as you can see. Let's compare it next to the cream contour. There's the coolness. It was a little bit deceiving. Can you see that? How in the packaging it looks way warmer than actually a swatch, but it's supposed to be contour, so it's supposed to be cooler. So I'm very excited for both of these. I'm going to use both of them together, do a little bit of cream contour first, and then warm up the face with the bronzer in a trying new makeup. So these I was very excited for. I love the powder contour that Sephora Collection recently came out with. And I don't contour too often, but I love their products. So I wanted to try it out, let you guys know how it is. And then I got a new shade in the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, which I think they reformulated. I'm not sure because these said they were new. So I did get one of the newer ones. I do love the old formula. It reminds me of a baked version of Charlotte Tilbury. It's that silky smooth as well. So I got the shade 15 Fair Neutral to use underneath my eyes because my other one is a medium, which I use all over the face. So I thought that would be fun to test out, see the new formula, see how it compares. Forgot how good this was, so I knew I wanted to pick up another one of these during the sale. After watching my good friend Steph, Babs Beauty, here on YouTube, I had to pick up some of the things that she recommended during the sale. The first I have here is the Ulla Hendrickson Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. And I got the strawberry sorbet one. Not my favorite scent of strawberry, if I'm gonna be honest. Well, I just put it all the way up my nose. There's certain strawberry scents that I like more than others. This one isn't my absolute favorite. I still love the color of it, the shine, and if it's nourishing and all that, I'll absolutely love it. So this has been getting really good reviews. So I'm curious to try it a little bit more. I just did a quick swatch on my lips when this came in the mail, but I love the color. It's like a pinky red, it's really pretty. Steph recommends it, so I know I'm probably gonna love it. <laughs> and then this, I had to use already. This was the item that Steph convinced me to throw in my cart. Not the shade, she has different ones, but I picked out a different shade than she's used. This is from Freck Beauty, and I don't have a lot of their makeup except for their freckle pen, which they started out with. So I do need to check out more from the brand. I tried it today and I loved it. It is a lip liner called the Makeout Club Nude Muse Lip Liner. This isn't budging. I got it in shade five. It is creamy, defining. I love the tip of it. It is small. It is a retractable formula, nice and teeny tiny. And the color is beautiful. This looks a little bit like the Monarch one that I just got. Super creamy, but this does not budge. I love it. I'm actually gonna swatch it really quickly next to the Sephora Collection one because this is more of that really warm reddish brown that I've been really enjoying for my lip liner. So I am wearing that on my lips today and it is so pretty. So thank you, Steph, for these recommendations. I cannot wait to try them more. I imagine this freck one is going to be darker. Yeah. That is the Monarch one that I have. You can see the pink in there. So this has more of that orangey brown. I love a nice creamy long wearing lip liner. 
so good. You can always tell when you're trying to rub it off if it's gonna be long wearing. That one was just trying to hang on to my hand. This was a purchase because of my best friend Jasmine. She was wearing this scent in a hand cream when we were celebrating my birthday and it smelled so good. And this is not my typical kind of scent. This is definitely one of her kind of scents, but it smelled so good on her that I needed to have it for myself. So I end up getting this kit, which unfortunately is only on Sephora Canada. Shocking that we actually have something that Sephora US doesn't, because that never happens. So I'm sorry to my US followers who can't get this, but the scent that you wanna check out is the Black Rose and Oud. This happens to be the mini trio, so I can try a few of the things, but I love the scent and the hand cream if you wanna go check that out and you're from the US and can't get this set. So it comes with a little mini deodorant, which I thought would be perfect because I plan on traveling in May and I wanted something small to take for my travels. Then I have the body wash and also the body lotion. So I wish this kind of came with the hand cream, but I'm going to be definitely utilizing all three of these. I love the sizes of them. I think they're decent sizes to try out, especially the deodorant. I think it's gonna be fantastic. So the deodorant, the body wash, I love the aesthetic of salt and stone and then we also have the body lotion which i love the simplicity of it it looks super nice and the smell is divine it's a super sexy scent if you don't like floral and you don't like oud you wouldn't like it because it's black rose and oud it's definitely a sexier scent for me than the lighter more gourmand vanilla fresh vibes that i typically go for this is a more darker floral oud scent, which I wanted something different. It smelled great on her, I love it. I'm so happy I got it. And the deodorant smells incredible. I cannot wait to try this whole set out. Then of course, I had to pick up another shade in the House Labs bronzer, which currently is my holy grail. I have fallen hard for this. Currently wearing level five on my skin. You can't tell where the bronzer is, where the foundation is. It just is such a smooth blend. I cannot get over the formula of this. House Labs for me, they're just really killing it right now. I just am in love with all their products, blushes, foundation, concealer is even good. Not my favorite, but I still love that. And then this is medium level six. I'm gonna show you this compared to medium level five in case you're curious. This surprisingly looks a little neutral in here, maybe compared to that Sephora bronzer. Oh yeah. You can see tonally the difference there. For the second bronzer, this is kind of dark, wow. I'm gonna go back and check what other colors they have for a Sephora collection because if that's number two and they only have one more, they should have one in between, I think. Medium level five, medium level six. Wow, this is gonna be good for all of skin. That looks so pretty. I'm gonna swatch them both for you. I'm so happy I got it. The tones are different enough for me. You can start seeing how much of that pan that I've used. We're going in on this bronzer. My neighbor is cutting their grass and I thought he was done, but he's deciding to cut it a second time. But I want this video up, so we're gonna have to have some outdoor sound right now. That is level five, that is level six. This is different than most of my bronzers. This is what I typically go for. Wow. Both beautiful colors, but you can see the pink in level five compared to this one, which will definitely be better for those with warmer skin tones or olive skin. So if you are a medium, I would get six, but I plan on testing this out in a future video. I'll probably be trying my Sephora one first because I already know I love this bronzer, but had to get level six and I'm so excited to have another one of the House Labs bronzers because at this rate, I'm gonna be out of level five in a month. I'm gonna take a quick lunch break hoping to get this video up tonight and come back and hopefully the lawn mowing is done. I also finally got my powders for Charlotte Tilbury, shades one and two, so I can put them in my refillable packaging. I'm gonna open them now. Hopefully they're not broken. I always worry about that for the refillable ones. This is how they're packaged. They are secure. So this is number one, I use that underneath my eyes. And then number two, I put all over my face. And then here is number two. I'll show you them side by side. So I'm just gonna put those in my package that I have cleaned, ready to be filled with the new powders. Unfortunately, my number one is starting to 
wear off. Wish the packaging was a little bit better, but I love this powder so much. Ready for my daily use. Very excited to have those back in my life. As you know, I work my Sephora hauls showing you everything I got since my last one. So there are products that I didn't get during the sale that I'm gonna show you, but I'm just gonna quickly share with you that order that I'm waiting on, and then we'll get back to other products that I'm going to be showing you guys. I did get the new Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Press Powder in the shade Medium. I was debating between light and medium. I went with medium. Hopefully it's good. I love Hourglass products, so I'm expecting to love this powder. I have four press powders. <laughs> in this haul. That's something that I use every day to set my face. So I actually go through pressed powder, probably the most of any makeup. And then I also ended up picking up, because of Steph, this is what I added to this order. I got one of the Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gels from Give Beauty. They weren't in stock until during the sale. Lucky for us Canadians, we could save some money on those because they just came in stock. So I got the shade Marigolds, and then I also got the shade Marigolds in the cheek tint. So we're gonna have a little monochromatic moment there. I thought it looked really pretty. I thought the lip gel over top of a pink lipstick would give me MAC Jazz vibes, which I love a nice coral for the summer, you guys know. So now back to the products that I've purchased since my last Sephora haul that weren't in this order. But I wanted to share with you guys. This product you would have seen me get during when I was doing my recommendations and wish list. <laughs> Cause as I was sharing my wish list, I saw that this was in stock. So I immediately grabbed it. And it's the Vanilla Skin from Floor, which was the one I'm missing. I love vanilla scents like this. So this is definitely something that I'm gonna use so much. I still like my Mango Mood one more, which is the one that I thought I would like least because it's unique to my collection, I think. But this is something that I can easily throw on. I love smelling like vanilla, so of course I love this scent and so happy that I got this one. And I saw that they're coming out with a dragon fruit one and some other one. There's two different ones on either the 16th or 17th. So I plan on getting those and I'll let you know how I like those, but I love all the scents so far and the fragrance mist from Floor. I think they're amazing. And then I also got the new Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. They reformulated this and you can get MAC on Sephora Canada. I'm wearing that on my skin today and I've been wearing it in a couple videos you will see. And I did a dedicated on this. I filmed that for you. I wanted to get up my Sephora haul first, but I think my dedicated video for this will be after this video that you're watching. Hopefully you're watching this on Wednesday if all goes well. This is a soft matte finish. It's supposed to be 24 hour wear. I have a lot of thoughts about this foundation. I want you to see the dedicated, so I'm not gonna give any spoilers here, but I'm wearing it on my skin right now. On my lips, I picked up the Patrick Ta Plumping Gloss in Pouty. I saw the McKnight Twins talk about this lip gloss and I needed it. It's just a really light pink with some sparkles in it. It just adds some fullness to the lips. And this is a plumping one that you feel. Like you feel this on the lips. This isn't my first one I have from Patrick Ta. I have a couple other shades, a red and a pink, and I just love this for how full it makes the lips look both in the formula and in the color because you can add it to anything and it just gives that fullness in the center. I weirdly like how these smell and taste though. Even though it's burning, I just like how it smells. I have another one of these Sephora Collection masks just for added hydration if I ever need it. This is just a five minute sheet mask. And this is the Vitamin E Aloe Vera Vitamin Mask. So they have a bunch of different ones. I like to pick up these and just have them on hand if I'm feeling a little bit dehydrated. As this says, it's just a quick quenching face mask. So nice to have on hand. Really affordable if you get it during the sale. And then I also, since my last Sephora haul, got some House Labs products. And you would have heard already about all three of these, but I'm gonna show you anyways. I know some people just watch my hauls. Since my last Sephora haul, I did get one of the PhD Hybrid Lip Glazes in Guava. This is such a pretty warm pink tone that I've been wearing all the time. It's been hard wearing anything other than this. That's how much I've fallen in love with this color for how glossy it makes the lips, the formula being non-sticky, but a little bit thicker. So you don't have to reapply it all the time. I think the formulation of this is perfect. I just wish they had some different colors. I do like what they have, I just want more. Me being greedy, I think they could do some more colors in this. And the formula for me, I wouldn't change one single thing about it. That's how good it is to me. And then I also picked up 
the two new shades in the repackaged House Labs blushes. Please let me know if they actually reformulated. I only knew of a packaging change. I'm unaware if this is actually a reformulation in terms of the ingredients. So if you do know that, please let me know. But I love what they did with the packaging because now the colors actually match the outer packaging. So I got the two new ones in French Rosette and Fire Moon. They're both beautiful. I did a side by side for a short form content if you wanna go check that out. Highly recommend, I love this formula. Favorite powder blush formula on the market is the House Labs. I also did a dedicated on this. It's the Makeup by Mario, the Neutrals palette. I've used this so much since I've got it and it looks like this. I did do some swatches for you, but if you like neutrals and matte shades, perfect palette for us. And I'm just super drawn to this row right here, especially that blue gray. It just, what makes this palette for me. Otherwise, I feel like I could definitely dupe this palette. That's what stands out for me, it's just one color. So I wouldn't buy it just for one color, but if you're looking at this palette and see that and you know you're gonna use it, I love the palette for that color, it's so pretty. And I love how buildable Makeup by Mario eyeshadows are because you won't necessarily go in and get full on pigment and have to really struggle to blend it out. You're building for a while, takes a little bit of time, but really user friendly in terms of the building. It's not going to take you to a place you don't wanna go. I end up getting this for travel. It's the Jet Set from Sol de Janeiro in the Scent 40, which is my favorite, as you already know. I've talked about it a million times on my channel, and it comes with the body wash, which is probably my favorite thing for the 40s smell because it smells like strawberries and cream almost. I get a Campino candy vibe, if you remember those. I don't know if they still exist, the strawberries and cream one. That's what that smells like to me. And then you get the lotion and a little travel for the spray. Thought this would be great for when I travel as well. So got the little jet set in my favorite scent. And then also I picked up this Sephora Clean Me Up kit. I still haven't opened it, but I wanted to save some of these for trying new makeup. So that is why I haven't opened it yet, but it has some great full sizes in it. And I believe this actually sold out during the sale. This was one of the things I was hoping you guys would be able to get on sale because it has some great full sizes in it and some products that I really wanted to try, like the Say one I wanted to use in a trying new makeup to come. So we have a full size in the Tower 28 mascara, but in brown, which I wanted a brown mascara, so check had that in there. This is the Amika Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment, which I've never tried. Kulfi, I think it's called. I'm not sure. I've never tried the brand, but we have a brown liner there. It looks great. And we have a full size of the Lawless Forget the Filler Gloss in Velvet, which is such a pretty shade. And then we have a little Youth to the People Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. Just thought it was a really great value. Even without the discount, I obviously bought this before the sale. I didn't want it to sell out, but so happy I got that. And then this was on my wish list, but Glow Recipe actually ended up sending this my way. So I just wanted to share with you that I actually got this and I'm gonna be using it in a try new makeup. So this is from Glow Recipe. It's the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drop. I really wanted to try the tinted version of their glow drops. And I have been using this and I, love this. I love this more than the Drunk Elephant, the First Aid Beauty one I recently tried. All those bronzy glowy drops, this has been my favorite by far. I love it. I'm a huge fan of Glow Recipe as you know. However, I wasn't a huge fan of these glowy drops and the bronzing quality to them. I just felt like the amount you had to use or the tone was off. This is perfect for both of that, for the pigment and the glow. I think this is perfectly formulated for me and I cannot wait to show you in a trying to makeup <laughs> because I feel like it really does make a difference for my foundation too. It just makes my skin super glowy and even if I don't wear foundation, I just spot conceal. I have that base there with a beautiful bronze that if I'm self tanning, my face finally matches my body. So it's just a little perfect thing for me to have. I'm so happy they sent that over. So that's something I didn't have to buy during the sale. And then I got my birthday gift and I selected the one that I think this is a Rouge exclusive. It is the Charlotte Tilbury one. It has a mini setting spray in it, which I love this setting spray. I love a mini. Then it has the magic cream in a little sample and then one of the lipsticks. I'm assuming it's Pillow Talk, yeah. It is pillow talk in here, go figure. Little minis again to take with me traveling, so lovely. And then a mini of my favorite fragrance of all time that I end up getting 
for one of the codes. This is from Clean. It's their Skin Reserve Blend. So we got a little mini here of that too. Even though I have a travel spray, this is even smaller. Look how cute that is. And I love this scent. So I'm so happy they had it so that people could actually try it and see what I've been raving about. And that's a decent size sample to try out before you invest in the full size. And then the last sample that I had is from Moroccan Oil. It's Protect and Prevent Spray for color treated hair. I don't think I have anything like this currently for hair products. So I thought that was a fun little code to use and sample to try. So that is everything, I think for my Sephora sale haul. I didn't actually get a lot, I feel, during the actual sale, but over time accumulating since my last Sephora haul, it is a big haul for me. So I'm very excited with all the products. I can't see anything not working out in this haul. So when I do my update in about a month's time, I'll let you know if I had to return anything, if something didn't work out, if I love something, if it's holy grail now, you will find all my reviews in about a month's time on this exact video. That's how I like to work my hauls on my channel. So, so thank you so much for spending some time with me, for watching. I was hoping this video would get up a little bit sooner, but my packages were slightly delayed. And the package that I'm waiting on, I'll probably just show in my next Sephora haul, or I might just keep it in this one as the photos and you'll see the products in a trying new makeup. We'll see what I decide to do, but I am still waiting on one more order and the sale is not over yet. So I'm likely to place some more orders, which I will show you possibly on my Instagram if you wanna follow me over there if I happen to place an order for anything else. So thank you all so much for watching. If you have not already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos. Let me know what you got during the Sephora sale. Let me know if you got any of the products I did as well. I'd love to know. And I will see you guys in my next video.